Hey guys, Claude Johnson here with GuitarControl.com and uh, today I want to talk about playing leads and solos and give you a couple tips. Now one of, uh, one of the guitar players that I really admire uh, for his skill is a guy named Kenny Wayne Shepherd, uh, who I had the pleasure actually of interviewing uh, a couple years ago and you can check that out if you're in the Guitar Guy Club. But one of the things that Kenny Wayne said uh, was that you know there's two well, he said basically this, after you get your basic skills down, you should really work on your vibrato. So what I want to say to you today is that if there was just two things you focus on and you did nothing else, you could still become a pretty decent lead guitarist uh, by doing these two things. So number one uh, is to learn and be able to use the pentatonic scale in the root position, okay? The other thing is your vibrato. So I want to talk about both of those two things. So. Let's just take the key of A, and let's just review, hopefully you know this by now, but not maybe not everyone does. So here's how to play the basic uh, pentatonic scale. Fifth fret, eighth fret on the low E string, and then five seven, five seven, five seven, and then the top two strings, five eight. So, you know, there's all different position, uh, you know, patterns, positions. There's five basic ones. There's extended ones, partial ones, string skipping ones. You know, you name it. But if you look at any lead guitar player, you know, any blues rock guy, you'd be surprised how often they come back. <laughs> to this basic position, because it's just so easy to use, so natural. So make sure you know where your roots are. And just, you know, get, get comfortable landing on that root, okay? And just try to get a lot of mileage out of it before you, you know, spend all your time trying to go all over the neck. Really get comfortable in that one position, okay? Because you can really use it. And then the next thing, you know, learn that vibrato. It's really a shaking of the wrist kind of motion, like you're shaking a soda can, okay? You know, try to feel it out, too. Um, don't just kind of mindlessly do it. You want to really try to feel it as much as you can. That'll make it more natural. So, so those are two things for you. Just, you know, learn that basic pentatonic box and focus on your vibrato, and you're gonna go, you're gonna make a lot of progress, you're gonna go far. Um, if you'd like to get more information on really how to develop a, a good vibrato, um, and, and some other really good lead guitar tips, uh, you know, lead guitar, not just tips, but, you know, you know the, all the methods and strategies that, that I recommend, um, you can check that out. Uh, check out my lead guitar course uh, at guitarcontrol.com slash lead. Okay? So I hope that helped, and uh, have a great day.